Hey Quad Bros, welcome back to another Quadro Quickie here. Hope you guys are all doing very well. This video, I'm going to be talking about radio operators and what they do in Enlisted. Before that, I have some really, really quick announcements for you guys. First, remember to always like, comment, and subscribe for more Enlisted content, yada, yada, yada. And also make sure to join the Quad Bros Discord. The link's down below in the description. Come hang out with me, play some games whenever I'm streaming, or just talk with others in the Discord about Enlisted, get some tips, so on and so forth. Second, make sure you guys are sending your top enlisted clips to the email in the description or just send them to me on Twitter or Discord or anywhere you guys can uh, and they'll possibly show up in my clips of the week sometime in the future. Now guys, without anything else, let's talk about radio operators and how to use them enlisted and what they do. The main role of the radio operator in enlisted is to allow the squad to call in artillery strikes on enemy positions. You don't have to be the radio operator to actually call these artillery strikes in. You simply have to have one in your squad. And as long as you do, you're going to press the seven key on your keyboard. Or if you are playing on console, you're going to hold up on the D-pad to pull up the little pie menu. And then you're going to click on artillery strike. And then it's going to bring up a little map. And you're going to choose where on the map you want to call in the artillery at. This artillery strike takes about 30 seconds or so. And during the first 15, 10 to 15 of it is going to be scattered artillery shells, basically warning the enemy that, uh, that a big strike is going to come down on them. And then the last 10, uh, 10 seconds or so is going to be a massive barrage of a bunch of artillery shells that's going to wipe out basically anyone still dumb enough to be within that red circle. After which the artillery is going to go on a four minute cooldown, or if you have upgraded your artillery squad and you're using the actual artillery squad itself, then it's going to... Uh, you do have an upgrade inside that squad that will reduce the cooldown to just 30 seconds, which is obscenely powerful. By the time the artillery strike ends, it'll only have about 10 seconds left on cooldown, so you can call in constant, constant artillery strikes. Very, very powerful. As for where you guys want to call in your artillery barrages, if you're struggling, don't worry. It's going to take some time and experience to really learn where the enemies tend to be at, so... For now, if you don't really know, enemy objectives is a great, great place to call in artillery if you have no other idea where to call it in at. So you can just drop the artillery directly on the enemy objective as your team is about to push in. So wait for the artillery to go off and then anyone still on the objective is going to be either very, very injured or heavily, heavily concussed and they're going to be easy pickings for your boys to push in. Once you have a foothold on the objective, you don't want to call artillery in anymore because all you're going to end up doing is killing yourself or concussing your allies, making it very, very hard for them to shoot any enemies who are pushing into counterattack. So instead, you want to call the artillery in slightly behind the enemy objective. So any enemies who are pushing in and trying to counterattack are going to get massively slowed down and heavily concussed by the artillery barrages. And this will make it much, much easier for you guys to hold the objectives and be able to kill enemy enemies who are trying to push in. Gearing your radio operators is very, very simple, guys. You're going to treat them how you would any other trooper because for all intents and purposes, they really are just a trooper that can call in artillery every four minutes or alternatively 30 seconds if you've gotten the upgrade. Now, the American radio operator squad is a little bit different because you can give them an M1 carbine. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys give them an M1 carbine in their secondary. This gives them a little bit of extra firepower at close range because the M1 carbine excels at close range. While the Germans... In Moscow, Germans in Normandy, or the Russians all just have to give secondary rifles, and it's not going to change very much from their primary. So just give them whichever guns that you guys are most comfortable using. And then, of course, outfit them with sidearms, anti-tank mines, grenades, anything that you are most comfortable using, because, again, they are effectively just troopers. That is all you guys need to know about the radio operator in, in Enlisted. Again, he is pretty much just a glorified rifleman. There's not much to him other than being able to call in those neat artillery strikes, which again is very, very powerful. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos that you guys want to see, what other guides or quadro quickies you guys want to see in the future. And remember to send all of your amazing, hilarious, goofy, dumb, uh, badass, you know, whatever you guys got clips to the email in the description or send them to my Twitter, Discord, any way you can get them to me. So we can get that quadros clips of the week going and I'll see you guys next time.